Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the Stitch and Time Border which works with um, granny squares. So if you want to do this or it can be a rectangle granny as well, it will work out for you if you're following the pattern as is. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some peekaboo colors. That I call it Stitch and Time because it reminds me of kind of like stitch work as it's kind of stitching the border to the, it just looks like it to the actual project. And then we're gonna finalize it with a nice thick um, section and then we're gonna finish it off with some single crochet. So let's uh, start off. We got a number of rows to do in order to do this kind of pattern today. And some of this is you're gonna have to know some knowledge in order to continue for yourself as well. And I'll explain that as we go. So let's begin by creating a slip knot. And so the slip knot is gonna go on here and we're gonna slip stitch it to a corner. So let's just attach it with the slip stitch and chain one and we're going to single crochet into the same one. So the corners for this one here is gonna be chaining of two. So one and two and coming back into the same corner I want you to single crochet. So here's the thing as we go. We're gonna chain one okay and we're gonna jump to the middle one of the three and we're going to single crochet. Chain one, go to the space single crochet and you keep doing that all the way across. So chain one and go to the middle and then chain one and go to the next section, uh, next space. If you hit a corner like I'm about to, then in the corners you're going to apply a single crochet, chain two and single crochet into the same corner. So what's gonna happen is though, though you see it's solid here, in the original you see that it's jumping and it looks like it's jumping because the next layer will cover a portion of it to make it look that way. So as we continue, so chain one, go to the middle one of the three, of the group of three, chain one, go to the space and keep doing that all the way around for this round. By the time you get around your afghan, you're just gonna end up in the beginning and remember you've already done your corner so you don't have to do it again. So chain one and attach it to the first single crochet with the slip stitch and join and get rid of this color. So that's it. You're going to finish this color. You'll bring it back later because that's what's giving it a peekaboo look. But right now we're gonna switch off. We're gonna weave in the ends and we're gonna bring a new color back into the mix here where we're gonna create that look that we want. So once we get this done, I want to move on to a new, new color and let's pull that out now. So let's start the next color. I'm just gonna go for red because blue and red kinda looks cool together. And I wanna go right into a chain two space right into a corner as my attaching and attach that chain one and one single crochet right into there. So this is a corner so it's gonna be the same as before. So chain two and coming back in. So watch what I'm doing because the next uh, uh, two uh, rounds are gonna be identical to this but using the opposite color. So the next time we'll use blue and then we'll bring back red again. So chain one and go into the space, the chain one space. Okay and then chain one and go into the space and you keep doing that all the way across until you hit a corner. Do you see that separating that blue now to give that peekaboo look? It's kinda neat right? So let's do that. So chain one and one single crochet into the next and you'll eventually hit the next corner. So chain one and in the corner it's the same as before. So one single, two chains and one single. And then you turn the work around the work and you keep on going. Okay so then chain one and go into the next space, chain one, next space. Please do that same thing going all the way around. Just pay attention to those corners. I'll see you at the end of this round. So as you get back around chain one and jump over in that one and you're just gonna slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. So you're just gonna fasten off like you had before. You're gonna bring back blue again. We're gonna start off in the corner. So I'm now bringing blue back. Again we're gonna start off in the corner like we had before and this is gonna create those peekaboo looks. So going right into the corner into the chain two space Okay, I wanna make sure I get everything in there that, so it matches everything perfectly. Attach it with a slip stitch. Chain one and one single back into that same one and then followed by chain two, one and two and then single back in. So there's your new corner. So let's uh, chain one and we keep jumping spaces. So just jumping over going into the chain one space. See? The red just got divided up because of the way that we're doing it and so it's a really quite an easy process. So in the corners again uh, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So what I want you to do is I want you to finish this round and do one more level of red and then we're going to then um, work on another um, concept then to do a nice thick border. So please uh, finish uh, this round and next. 
Okay, when I last left you, I had you do those two rounds. So you can see that you got two layers of blue, two layers of red. So now we're gonna start off with doing some treble work and the treble is the nice big border and I'm just gonna show you how to do this part and then I'm gonna leave the last round for you to do on your own. So you're just gonna go into a chain two space right in the corner and you're gonna attach your new yarn. Okay, and I would do an accent color or whatever that's gonna be quite bold and you're going to uh, attach it with a slip stitch and then chain four. So that counts as a treble. So one, two, three and four. So I need you to do five more um, um, trebles into that same one. Okay, so wrapping that hook twice and going in and trebling. Now not a lot of people love to treble but the uh, treble really creates that distance and really kind of that look of really thickness um, you know with an extra wrap of that hook when you start. So with that chaining of four plus these other trebles you should have a total of six into the, each of the corners when you hit the corner. Okay, so there's a chain. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what you're gonna do now is that every space up until you hit the next corner is all gonna have two trebles each. So wrapping that hook, going right into the space itself and doing two trebles. And you're gonna do that all the way around in those chain in the one spaces. Okay, so then you jump to the next space and put two more in. So what are you gonna do in the corner when you hit it? You're going to apply six trebles like so. So there's no uh, chains at the end of this when you go to um, do any of the corner work. You just immediately are just filling in the spaces as you go. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave that last round for you. So if you look at the original sample that I did is that you'll notice that I did a layer of this accent color. So I would probably go around with a layer of red. All it is is one single crochet in each one of the trebles all the way around. So just start off in a corner and then just one single crochet in each going all the way around and then finish that off. So this would be how you would do this border. You can see that this blue and red would be quite amazing if you like that color scheme. I love this color scheme myself. So you can see it kind of does a really amazing look and you can turn something really quite ordinary into extraordinary with this border. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.